Automaster will happily crush your track to death. It's going to make it loud, it's going to really brighten it up, but that unfortunately doesn't make it sound professional. In this video, I'm going to show you how, with a few little tweaks, you can turn your Auto Master into something that gets close to a professional master. Well, closer than just straight out of the box. If you're new here, my name's Streaky. I've been a professional mastering engineer for 30 years, working with some of the world's leading artists, and I'm here on YouTube to show you how to get better sounding music. So if that's what you're into, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Right, let's get into it. The big problem with Auto Master is is that it kind of overdoes it. With the first listen, everything's louder, shinier, in your face, so you think it sounds great. But give it a few minutes, you realize it's flat, your ears feel tired, and it just doesn't really have that depth and feel that you want. So let me just run through how we can sort this out for you. First of all, let's run the track that I've got through Auto Master before I show you the hacks to get it sounding better. So it's done its auto mastering. Now let's have a listen to it. I'm gonna flick into the module so I can see what it's actually done. All of this area here is fine for just doing general settings like pulling back the dynamics or whatever, but I wanna know what's going on in the guts of it. So let's uh, have a look at that, bypass in and out, and you can hear how much different the track sounds before and after. Don't forget though that I've kept the gain match on because we don't want really to get fooled by the level that all, having all these modules on will give us. We just want it at exactly the same level before and after, but so we can hear the tweaks of the EQ and the dynamics. So uh, yeah, let's have a listen. So to me, it sounds nice. First listen, like I said, you go, wow, that sounds so much better. It's, you know, it's done a great job. But to me, with my ears, it sounds a little bit bright, sounds a little bit pushed, and also it hasn't sort of really sorted the low, low end out. So kind of problems for me, really, as a mastering engineer. I want to be able to sort the bottom out so it's tight, and I want the, the tops so they're a little bit less in your face, because Bright's good, but bright also is cheap and tiring on the ears, so I don't really want that all the time. So as we can see when we dive into the EQ, it's put a load of bottom on, like 3 dB in the low end, and like 2 dB in the top. And if you know mastering the way I've told you to do it, you never use that much, you've got real issues. And I think it's really boomy in the low end anyway, so I really wouldn't want that much, and I wouldn't want that much top. So I'm going to keep the EQ curve the same, because that seems alright, but just pull it down a bit with this here. So like take that off 25%. That's going to just dull those bottoms and tops. Let's have a listen to how that sounds. Let's just see what else it's done. It's not done anything there on the um, impacts. I don't even know what that's on. It's really widened the, the thing. That's another thing that Auto Master does that you need to check is that it just really makes the mids and everything really wide with the imager because that's kind of instant vibe, isn't it? As soon as you hear something that's wide, it sounds better sort of with level, but that's not always the best way. You want to kind of bring it in a little bit. So I'm more likely to tone that down. I'll listen to it as I'm doing it and tone that down. Uh, clarity, it's added 25 on there, that's fine. 25 on there is pretty safe on stabilizers. It's done a load of uh, sort of resonances, I guess, here on the dynamic EQ. Uh, they probably aren't hurting it. So, and then the uh, the limiter is right up. So let's um let's have a look because they it basically it pumps the limiting up, puts loads of EQ on, and it makes the imaging really wide. That's what I found most of the times when I've been testing this. I'll show you the hacks in a minute to to stop it, but. Um, Let's just dial that down and let's see how we can get this to sound.
So I think I've got that sounding much better. See a few little tweaks there and suddenly it's all coming in. On the impact, I just brought that down a little bit in the lows, so it just held on to that a little bit more. And then with the EQ, just, just brought that down a smidge. 40% in fact, from where it was at 100. So brought that down to 40%. So it's just kind of tamed it down. You don't want to be seeing stuff that's around adding like 2, 3 dB. It's far too much at mastering. It needs to be much more subtle than that. Um, stabilizer in that's probably fine. I didn't really turn them on and off, but I, the sound was sounding all right. So I'm quite happy with that. I mean... Yeah, I don't mind those those dynamic EQs are fine going in there. And then the maximizer, we're on pretty loud. So let's just have a look what that is on LUFS. So if we go down to integrated. So let's see what that's peaking at. Turn your speakers down now because I'm about to turn it at a normal level. Yeah, so that's all right. That's not pushing too much. We're getting sort of minus eight LUFS, which is bang on. I prefer the IRC5 on this. It sounds better. And then bring the character so it's a bit faster. The stereo independence, just get that off. I don't like that at all. Just get that off. And so that means that sounds a little bit more open with that uh, maximizer settings like that. So that's it. I, I sort of, sometimes it's quite good just to get you going with this. So I'm not, I'm not saying it's bad. It kind of gets you there, gets you going, a few tweaks here and there. It's great. It can teach you how to actually master as well because you'll look at what settings it's added and think to yourself, oh, okay, then let's turn that off and on. What's that doing? Oh, I see what it's done there. So you can use it as a kind of learning tool to train your ears because you might say, oh, okay, that high shelf that it's added, why has it done that? Oh, okay, I can hear what it's trying to do. Okay, I'll pull that down a bit. So it's quite a good way of like somebody showing you how to master in effect and you're kind of working it out. So it's kind of like the AI or the algorithm, whatever it is, is just kind of guessing based on the formula that it's got for your type of music and then it shows you what it would likely do for that so it can be helpful from that point of view but just dial it back but let me show you with the auto master feature how you can get closer to the sound that you want quicker than having to dial in and go into all the settings all the time so what we'll do, we go into this new setting that they've got on Ozone 12, which is custom. So it means we can customize the Auto Master. So if I go into there, I leave all those on. I'm going to turn this down a little bit, just to like nine, because so it's not pushing the maximizer as hard. Uh, I'm going to bring the uh, analyzer time up to like... 50, instead of eight seconds like put it up to 20 seconds just a little bit more so it's got more time to have a listen this intensity it says balanced but put it to transparent it just sort of brings everything down you see where the eq and stuff was quite full on before just bring that down to transparent and then um dance pop keep it in that setting and then i'm going to save that as my default for every time and then analyze it again <laughs> So with those settings in place, we've now got some new modules to look into. So it's the same track, obviously. And when we look at the EQ, we can see it's calmed itself down a little bit. It hasn't put all that low end on. It hasn't put loads of top on. It's just done a few cuts in the low end. And that's really what I thought it needed was to bring that down a little bit. It's added master rebalance. So it's brought the vocals up a bit, which is cool. They needed to come out. Um, impact is bought everything is holding on to everything a bit more now the imager still a bit wild in the mids probably bring that down a bit don't want to go crazy with the stereo imaging it's done less on the clarity 15 the stabilizers got less on 15 so it's just calmed it down a little bit which is what we wanted it to do it's done less in this area too and the maximizer is still on that four settings let's get that on five and i don't like these either so get rid of those so uh and make it faster 
So let's have a listen to how this one sounds. If we put gain match on, and let's see if this one's like chilled it out. So it's not as bright, not as boomy as the first one. But before I show you the before and after, make sure you like and subscribe to this video. To me, that is much more how I would want it to be. It's not as bright, it's not as thin, it's not as crispy, it's not as pushed and like it's being forced into sounding good. It's just chilled it right back. And it's only a few little settings in that custom setting that has taken it to that place. It's made it think differently, which is what we want. We don't want it to think, oh, just give me everything. We just want it to like relax a little bit. And that way we can just go in, move a few things around, and you're gonna get a much more acceptable master than just letting it do its own thing and run rough shot over your track. So if you wanna learn how to go deep into all of these modules to get the most out of them, I've got an ozone course that's called ozone start to finish it's me going through every module one by one telling you how to use it how to get the most from it and when to do certain things it really is a deep dive into ozone i'm also mastering a track in there so that you can hear how i use it how i set up for mastering when i'm going from absolutely blank session to the finished master because you've made it this far to the end of the video there is a discount link for the ozone course so if you want to go and get more information on it check that out there i think you You'll get loads from it if you own ozone you'll definitely love this course watch me mastering in ozone start to finish on this next video don't forget to subscribe to the channel see you next time